Hey guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about sniffing out your client's budget. What do I mean by that? Well, when you start the project process, very beginning, first point of contact with the potential new client, there's a lot of back and forth that happens before you guys agree on what you're building, how much it costs, and what your timeline is going to be. That process I just described actually can take up a considerable amount of time. Larger projects have a lot of back and forth, a lot of estimation, a lot of re-estimation, and a lot of negotiation. Now, it's in your best interest to minimize how many times you go through this process for clients that don't end up working with you or becoming paying clients. And one of the biggest reasons why clients drop out is because the budget. Um, either they don't have the money to make it or they're just not confident um, they can get the money or they have enough money to build the project they want to build. A lot of times they have money, but it would require them scaling down their application. Now, it's important for you to have some general idea of your client's budget while you're going through this process for a couple of reasons. Um, one, it's helpful for you because you can shift resources if you believe you're with a client that's unrealistic. You can also change your strategy, start pushing them, them towards things that are more practical, more cost effective, start pushing them towards more of a minimum viable product model, um, and essentially just try to pitch them on the whole idea they should start off smaller. But also what ends up happening is a lot of times if you work with clients, you have no idea what their budget is. They'll accept a project and they simply do not have the funds um, or they're not in a good enough cash position to make the project correctly. A lot of times they build something out and they quite literally spent every dollar they have building it. And then when it needs editing, it needs fixes, when you find out that user feedback says this section doesn't work, um, this section needs to be fixed, they have nothing to work with. And so you're working with a dead project. Now, I need to stress this, that a lot of contractors will ask for your budget up front. It's surprising how many people do that. Um, and it's something that you should never do. It, it's, it's such bad manners. It's so really unprofessional. And I'm kind of amazed by the people that actually stick by asking what the client's project is up front. I teach other courses on Udemy where I actually take the other side of the fence and I teach people how to be a master um, at purchasing software and mastering kind of the freelancer business relationship. And I always say that people that ask for their budget upfront are more likely to be unrealistic about what it's going to take to get your project done. It's also just bad taste. If I'm someone who's looking for a long-term contractor or someone to work on a very important project, I'm not gonna be interested in working with someone whose first question is, how much money do you have to spend? I'm interested in someone who is interested in my project. I would like to work with someone who has a personal connection to it. You should follow that as well. You should always make your client feel as if you are interested in what they're doing. Make it look like you're thinking about it in other ways and that money is not the most important issue to you. One of the things that always drives me crazy with other freelance businesses is they ask for your budget and if you tell them your budget, you magically you'll find out that their estimates always seem to fit your budget. Um, that's typically just shows that a lot of people use that as a technique to be dishonest. They use it to figure out how much money they can squeeze out of you and not to objectively answer the question of how much does this cost? What is it going to take? So be realistic, get your priorities right, um, and don't ask for your budget up front. But there are some certain things that can help you um, understand roughly whether or not your client is even in the right range of your project and to give you some idea of whether or not they have a healthy budget or a budget that simply cannot support the project they're proposing. So I'm gonna go over some of the most common things you should look for um, and some simple ways that you can actually press the issue, find out what their budget is without actually asking explicitly and being rude. <laughs> 